I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we will understand the concept of non-mutually exclusive events and then find probability of such events. So let's begin with our sample space and let us say uh, this represents a sample space where we are talking about two events. So event A and event B and these events overlap. So we have a sample space where we have two events which are overlapping. So let's say that is a sample space and then this is event A and this is event B. So this portion which is overlapping will be intersection of event A and B. So what we observe here is that event A and B overlap, right? So overlap. So that means they have something in common. So they have something in common, right? Something in common. Or we can say that the intersection of set A and B is not a null set, is not a blank set, right? There is something in it. In that case, we say that these two events are non-mutually or they are not mutually exclusive. So we'll call them non-mutually exclusive events. Okay, so that is how we are going to define the events which are not exclusive. We can take a few examples. For example, we took the case of rolling die, right? So, so if we get odd number like three, so we can say, well, let's say event A is uh, odd numbers. Okay, that is event A. So for a dice, it will be the numbers one, three, and five, correct? Let's define another event B. Let the event B be, uh, let us say, uh, prime numbers. Okay, so we say prime numbers. Now, the prime numbers which a die can have are 3 and 5, right? Even 2, I'm sorry. So I should have written 2 first. Let me write down now. 3, 5, and 2, right? Okay. So the prime numbers which you can get is 2, 3, and 5. Now if I want to find probability of A or B, right? So we could also write this as probability of A or, right? So that is union B. In that case, we cannot just add all these number of numbers since there are few common numbers. Correct. So in this particular case, what do we observe? We observe that event A has numbers 1, 3 and 5, out of which 3 and 5 are common. So I should write 3 here and 5 here. Okay. And the other number for A goes here, which is 1. And then we have 2 here for B, right? So, so these numbers which are overlapping in our case, in our case, are equal to let me write down intersection here are 3 and 5 since that is not very clear. So these two numbers here are 3 and 5. So what I'm saying is that these two numbers which form the overlapping or which are common to both are 3 and 5. So in such cases the number of elements actually when you add them so in our case what is how many number of elements are there in A? Number of elements in A is 1, 2, and 3. There are three numbers, right? As far as the B is concerned, in event B, the number of elements are also 3. However, when you see how many events are in A and A or B, right? So if A or B. So you see some are common. So if you want to find total number of elements in A, or B, then what is, how many are there? There are only one, two, three, and one, four. There are only four elements which are common, which are there in both, right? So, so A or B, the number of elements are one, three, five, and two. So I could write this as one, two, three, and five. Is that okay? 
So these are total elements and their number is, uh, actually I should have written the number, is not 3 plus 3, it's just 4. Do you see that? So I wrote the elements just to show you that these elements are not 3 plus 3. They are not 6, they are 4. Why is it so? It is so because the number of elements are the ones which are common, they are being added twice. Do you see that? So we added 3 and 5, these two numbers twice. So we included them twice and now we need to exclude them. So therefore, we have a rule that if there is an overlap, in that case, the number of elements in A or B will be number of elements in A plus number of elements in B take away number of elements in the intersection of A and B. You get the point, right? So, so we'll talk about it in more details, but I hope you have understood the basic concept, right? So what we here have here is that combination of two is not really the combination of numbers. We have to take away the numbers which had been included twice and that gives us principle of inclusion and exclusion. So when we add it in this particular case, so the number of elements in A we found were 3, number of elements in B were also 3. However, the number of elements which were common to both A and B were 2. So therefore, the number of elements in A or B, right, or union B, is number of elements in A plus number of elements in B take away number of elements which are common A intersection B. You get the point. So we get exactly what we should. N A is 3, N B is also 3, take away 2 which are common and that gives you 6 minus 2 as 4. So the number of elements in A or B, right, is, is 4, right? So that is how we get it. Now let me take few more examples which fall into this category. Well, there could be many. So let's look into uh, cards. It's very popular whenever we talk about probability. So in the card, let us say we need to find probability of either a red card or a face card. Right, so either a red or a face card. Let's say we want to find probability of that. Now, how many red cards are there in a pack of cards? Well, there are 26 red cards out of 52. So, we can write that the total in sample space, we have 52 cards and therefore N of S is 52 for the game of cards. And let's say N A is red cards. In that case, the number of red cards is 26. How about the face cards? Let's say that is the event B. So we have N of B, the face cards. Face cards are Jack, King and Queen in four suits. So there are 12 in number. Got it? Now if you want to find either red or face we just can't combine these two i'm sorry it's 26 i wrote 25 okay 26 are the red cards now if you want to find either red or face card we just can't combine them since few face cards are red right so so that is where the intersection comes so how many face cards are red that is what is the number of cards which are red and which are face cards, right? So, so A and B, right? Intersection. So, in this case, we know there are six face cards which are red, right? So, Jack, King and Queen of Hearts and Diamonds, right? So, those are red cards. So, that becomes the number of cards. Therefore, 
the probability of event A, which we are saying red face cards, we are saying A for red face card and I mean red cards and B for face cards. So probability of A or B is equals to the probability of A plus the probability of B take away probability of both A and B, right? So A intersection B. Since when we add A and B, we add those common cards twice, one with A, the other time with B. So we have to exclude them. I hope that is where you understand inclusion. We include it twice. So to get the right number, we have to exclude them. Exclusion. Do you see that? So in our case, probability of A will be 26 over 52 plus for B, since there are 12 face cards, 12 over 52 and the intersection, six of them are red. So six over 52 has to be subtracted, right? So that gives you the result, right? So 52 is common. You can add and then divide. So we'll do 26 plus 12 plus, I mean, okay. So we have 26 plus 12 plus 6. That gives us 44 over 52. So dividing by 2, we get, uh, we could divide by 4, 11 over 13, right? So we know if four players are playing, every get, everyone gets a hand of 13 cards, right? So 11 over 13 is the probability of getting a red or a face card when the cards are Taken away, this one card is picked from the 12 cards, right? So that could be an example. Let me share with you another example and let this be a question for you. So let us say we want to find uh, multiples of uh, multiples of multiples of 5 or 9 um, in numbers from from 1 to let us say 50 okay so let this be the question for you find the multiples of 5 or 9 in the numbers from 1 to 50 and then let us say our event a is multiples of 5 event b is multiples of b then you find the probability of getting multiples that means times 5 or multiples of 9 right so in this case you will observe there are some numbers which are multiples of both 5 and 9 right so for example uh, in this intersection uh, when we say an A intersection B we'll get numbers like 45 so this set will have one number right which is 45 I should not write 45 but number of elements which are common will be 1 which is the number 45 so we have to take that away and then find the right answer so once you include by adding those multiples of 5 and 9 you have to exclude 1 which is 45 to get the right answer right so we saw a few cases of non mutually exclusive events these are the events when two or more events could have common elements. So those common elements, when we combine their numbers, they are included twice and therefore they have to be excluded. And that is why we get this kind of a formula where we say number of elements in a set A or B will be combination of N A and B taken away from them the ones which are common in both right so in short that is what it is and i hope that helps you to understand the very basic concept of non mutually exclusive events we will take a few more examples of this kind to practice what we have learned here i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best